Hey everybody, now I'm going to show you how I put a top coat on some of my paintings. If I'm not resin the paintings, some of them I don't actually put a cover on at all because with some acrylics in your gloss mediums, they don't really need a finish, but uh, sometimes they do. It just depends on the painting and I'll get into that later in another video. But for today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put a top coat on this particular painting. Now the brush I'm using is this one, and it's a flat brush, and it's really fine, really soft bristles. And what I first do, too, is take my Ultra Duster, make sure I get all the dust off that, this thing here, like for computers, make sure I get all the dust off because this painting's been sitting for a few days. And then with the brush, I also dampen the brush with a squirt bottle of water. So I'm going to take this brush and squirt the ends. Also, I forgot to mention I, I did it a second ago, so uh, that's probably why I forgot. But I put the Ultra Duster on the um, brush as well, on the ends like this. To make sure I get all the dust and stuff off that brush. So I'll do it again. I spray my water on there because it, uh, it helps the bristles so that they're not... Uh, push together and to show uh, lines in your brain. Okay, what I'm going to use today, and I have different uh, techniques and different varnishes and stuff like that, but I actually don't really like the high gloss on certain paintings. This one here is my Liquitex Satin Varnish. And this is what I'm going to be putting on this particular painting. So always remember one thing, you got to shake up everything from all your paints, your flow troughs, your metallics. You shake everything or stir. Certain things you have to stir. <laughs> Creates less bubbles, but I'm not worried about that right now. So, now with the varnish, I'm going to just pour it on. Oh, you know what? This is brand new and I didn't even take the the little thing off the protector. So let me squeeze that off there and pull it off. Okay. I always push down in the middle and squeeze the end and then it comes right off. I pull it off. Okay, so now I put it on here because I think I want a nice satin finish on this one. And then what I do is just kind of spread it first and I'm actually wetting the bristles and getting the varnish up a little higher onto the bristles by just spreading it around. Get it on there. I actually have too much on here today. Rushing a little bit. Rushing for work. And that's when I don't do my best work. You can't get anything done good in a hurry, right, y'all? <laughs> now what I'm going to do is tip this. Make sure I have dust off my fingertips. I'm going to tip this a little bit. And I'm going to get the ends. like this with my fingers. Also, um, I never mentioned before with my paintings, when I do paint, uh, you don't uh, set the painting down in a box or on paper because it sticks when the paint drips down the sides. And then sometimes I don't mind because I actually paint the sides a different color, but most of my paintings I have like this, but I use, these are actually cookie cutters. <laughs> And I set those down there and set the paintings on. Um, some people I've noticed use like little, uh, what do you call those, little push pins. I have a little rubber mallet and that. but And I have used that in the past. But I have found that it's kind of time consuming for me. And then I actually have these in all boxes sitting over on the side everywhere in my um, resin box and everything. Okay, now... What I'm doing is I'm taking the brush and just resting it there really lightly. I'm not putting it any pressure whatsoever. I'm just resting it and getting the resin off. I mean, not resin, I'm sorry. Um, the satin varnish. And getting it off down on the ends here. Pushing it down and I go both ways to cover it. And sometimes I'll put two coats or three coats. It just depends. OK, 
Okay, now also what I like to do is pick the painting up and tilt a little bit because it kind of will blend those brush strokes in. A little bit. You can see on the sides. Now, I also, what I do is splash water on it like this with this squirt bottle because it mixes the varnish with the water and it takes the brush strokes away. But it does create air bubbles sometimes. But you have to be careful because this is such a thin coat. I really don't like to take the uh, blowtorch or heat gun to it. Now just go like this again. So it's mixed with water. Getting my sides. And then you want to babysit this for a little bit. And what I mean by that is to make sure you get your, um, the uh, drips off the bottom by taking your popsicle sticks and whatnot and just scraping the bottom. And I usually do that when I'm all done before it starts the drying process. Here again, I'm just going really lightly, flipping the brush. I don't want to create brush strokes. And sometimes when I do that I don't mind the brush strokes showing, I always do a crisscross motion, like a little smiley face, like I'll go like this. And that's in a lot of my paintings. In my background colors and background paintings, whatever, it's all like a crisscrossy. <clears throat> now I'm going to let this coat dry and we'll check on it when it's dry and see if it needs a second coat. But I do like mixing it with water and I should have remembered that earlier if I wasn't so rushed today. I would remember that earlier and I wouldn't have put so much of the uh, satin varnish on here because I don't need that much. I really don't. It, a little goes a long way with this kind of stuff so depends on your application and how you apply it. I do want to do a video soon on how I mix my paints because um, there's so many different videos out there and everybody does it different. You have to figure out what works for you but I have a really nice formula and it just it works out really good. It's simple to the point and I enjoy it and mixing up my paints and uh, getting the uh, results that I get from it. Just depends on what I want and uh, I'll mix my paints according so. Okay now I tilt this just a little bit and let's sit there like that. A small angle. And if it was resin you do want to make sure it's really level but here again I'm not leaving it like this so you wouldn't uh, it's tipped up on the box up there so even with resin you can tip it tip it like this and let it tilt for a second to spread it around but then when you want it to start going into the drying process you really need to make sure that it's level okay now I'm gonna have to quit at some point I can see some spots are starting to dry and I don't want that kind of problem with see, this. I can see some of these right here at the top. I want to go over that. All right, everybody. Let's check in with this later. I'm going to go around the ends and get my drips. And I'll clean my brush. All right, let's check it out later in a little bit. Okay, everyone, here it is, finished and dry. This is two days later. This was uh, covered with the satin varnish, the one I just mixed with water. 
and it is just gorgeous. I had one coat on there, and it's got a nice little satin sheen and not one brush stroke. Not one. It's really pretty, you guys. Turned out really, really good. And then um, also some of these paintings, this particular one, the artwork, I keep my artwork on top of the canvas, uh, which is really good. See, if you look at the sides, you can see the drips are from um, the runoff of the painting. That's what I call it. And then my painting, you can see a, a bold line there of the painting itself. And the painting stays on top of the canvas. And the other is just a runoff, which can, which is actually like wrapping the canvas with your painting. And that's why sometimes I make this a different color. It just depends on what I'm painting. Sometimes I have a black border or whatever, but and most of the time I leave it like this. I keep the painting on top of the canvas, and then the runoff is on the sides. But it turned out really pretty, you guys. Really nice sheen. Hope y'all are getting it. <laughs> Can't really see this uh, camera too well. Okay, that's it. That was the satin varnish. Thank you for watching.